Hello, welcome back to the next video in the series of a conversion to the uh, central to an electric car. And um, I want to show you my progress in this video. Uh, I've been working on several things. The first thing I want to show you is I have installed the fuses for for the DC to DC converter and also for the brake pump. Uh, I also been doing the, some of the cabling for the controller. I got all the cables. Uh, installed. Well, this is going to the to the uh, cabin. And uh, let me tell you about the cables that I put in the cabin. By the way, I use this. I use uh, one of these for the cabling. Since I make a hole in between the engine compartment and the cabin, I'm, I use one of these basically uh, to uh, pass the cables through here. I don't want the cables to go through the Sheet, metal sheet because they're going to uh, cause friction and break so I'm, I'm using one of these actually two of those and let me show you the cables that are passing to the cabin this is the section this is the this is the um, these are the connections that are going to the um, cabin and I'm going to tell you the cables that I need to pass to the cabin. I need to I need to pass the power from the switch to the controller. I need the brake signal from the pedal that this controller uses as well. Um, the throttle, uh, the error light which is going from the controller to the dashboard now. The error light is going to um, go to the dashboard. Um, the emergency disconnect which is the cable that is going from this. It has a cable nut that is going to the to the to the cabin. This is pulled from there to disconnect here. <clears throat> Let me put it back where it was. Okay. Uh, what else have to put? Um, I have to send the amp meter signal for the for the, the uh, instruments. Um, the the voltmeter. I need to measure from the cabin how many volts am I using here. Uh, there is a signal also from the motor to the cabin, which is the where of the brushes. I want to control or measure the brushes. There is a sensor in the motor. And finally, the network cable. The network cable. The network cable is going to the cabin, but I can use for it's long enough to bring it back here if I need to work with the PC. We're going. To talk about this later. Um, also, I installed my batteries. Uh, as you can see, I have the batteries here, and I'm charging them. Um, this is a little high, so I'm going to need to remove them again and lower this a little bit because the hood is, is, is touching this and it's not good. So I need to lower this a little bit. Uh, work on that by the next video. But um, let me show you. I, I decided to put the batteries to charge because they've been there for a couple of months and they're not being charged, so I don't want the rest of them to go bad. If you leave the batteries not charging for a long time, they may go bad. So what I did is I connected all my batteries with the cables um, that I had already and a few other extra that I have in there, just to make sure that I could charge them. I have my charger here, just charging them currently. It's also not fixed place, but it's uh, it's already charging the batteries, and uh, I'm just going to charge the batteries. Now, I I put some water into the batteries because they were also low on water. Uh, it's a good idea to use one of these because those batteries are full with acid. So it's a good idea to protect your eyes when you're putting water just in case of a splash. You don't want acid in your eyes. Very important. Also, as I told you before, I'm going to use one of these to um, connect each one of the batteries so I can monitor here because they're pretty, pretty much out of balance. And I need to make sure they're balanced for proper charging and for increased range. Uh, so I bought a bunch of pieces also for each line of the battery. I need to make sure that I uh, have a fuse in each battery in case I make a short circuit it doesn't damage the battery. Um, what else? Also, these batteries, when they're charging, they uh, get fumes 
uh, hydrogen which if it accumulates long enough it may cause the uh, uh, a fire and explosion so I bought one of these it's, uh, this is a bathroom fan that I'm going to install I don't know where yet somewhere in here uh, I'm just gonna put it here or here somewhere so it will circulate some of the air but I don't want to have it on all the time so I bought also a little timer this will cause this uh, fan to turn on once every you know like three or four minutes in every hour that will keep the air circulating and reduce the chances of uh, fumes accumulating um, what else I have the I removed the dashboard of the car trying to um, see if I could put this indicator here this kind of fits in that hole and I was trying to remove the gas and the temperature sensors and put the voltmeter and the amp meter unfortunately this is sealed there's no way to really cut one without damaging the speedometer and the tachometer that even though they're not working I really hope to be able to fix them so this is not going to work I'm still going to use the, the error signal from the controller now into the uh, service engine service now uh, of this so we're still going to see in the service engine the error messages from the controller but this still needs some work what I did instead is I bought one of these this is from the uh, pillar and I bought one of these which is put over over this they come in for the specific car model and brand and these are going to go inside I, I have three but I have to just two indicators so I'm going to just use two and block the other but this is this is this is a good idea this, these are very well positioned we'll be able to see the uh, the, the indicators very well um, what else I have um, I received a few comments from people telling me that uh, I'm wondering why I switched the language of the videos from English to Spanish or from Spanish to English. I didn't change the uh, language. I'm really doing two videos, one in, one in English and one in Spanish. You may have jumped somehow from Spanish to English or English to Spanish, but you can find the videos. They're all all the videos are in English and then in Spanish. You just need to find the right video. Uh, I think I, that's all I have for now. Uh, oh. No, I have to, I want to make a test. I'm going to turn on the controller and I'm going to make a test with the pedal and with the, uh, with the tires to show you that it's working. Right now the uh, controller is on. So, if you look at the tires, I'm pushing to the accelerator a little. I finally am going to mention uh, this is the way to configure the controller. These controllers are plugged into a computer. It's going to be a little difficult to see, but uh, you have a page when you connect to the controller, and here's how you configure all the parameter minimum voltage, maximum voltage. Uh, if you have a tachometer, the reverse signal, that's how you control the uh, configure these controllers. They're very friendly, um, and everything seems to be working fine now. Uh, in the next video I should have all this lowered and I'm going to start working on the other batteries to put them on the trunk. After that I think I'll be good to do a test drive. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.